win the game without knowing the rules. Hello, my dearest friends. Svetlana Shlapak, the founder of UKVisaSuccess.com, is here. Can you really win the game without knowing the rules? You can't. And that is precisely my point. Unless you are at the same page with the decision maker who is reaching a decision on your visa application, your chances for success are very vague. And that is precisely why I've created uh, this Know the Rules to Win the Game uh, video series where I'll be deconstructing all major UK immigration categories. There will be overview videos giving you all major rules about uh, relevant categories so that you can see exactly what the decision makers look at uh, when they consider your applications. And if after watching this video you want some more information, please do check my website and also the description area of this video. Uh, there I'll be giving you information regarding the next free webinar, which I host in order to help you understand various aspects of UK immigration law. Please help uh, me help others by liking, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. For those of you who already done this, thank you so much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate this. So uh, let us deconstruct the next immigration category. I'm really excited uh, to create this video because in today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of all UK work visas routes. I have identified 18 various routes which may help you uh, as a visa national enter the UK and remain here as a worker. There are temporary routes and there are, uh, there are routes where you can remain here for uh, a significantly longer period of time. So there are, I have identified four major categories. Three of these categories belong to the point based system which was developed uh, uh, by the UKVI uh, back in 2008 uh, in order to simplify the entire process of making these applications and there is one more route which doesn't belong to any of the points based system categories which was developed as you will see from my video from this video and from uh, subsequent videos uh, it was developed significantly earlier so it's it's it, it's it, uh, it contains a four long established routes which I will explain later so it, in today's video I'm only going to explain what these routes are and I'm going to uh, elaborate Elaborate later in my video. So, if you would like to, if you're interested in any particular category, please feel free to subscribe to my uh, channel, and you will be getting uh, um, information regarding uh, each uh, category in more detail at a, a later point. A tier one route uh, was introduced in order to help so high, uh, so-called high-value migrants to enter the UK, and uh, there are four subcategories which belong to this tier one category. It's a tier one entrepreneur, tier one exceptional talent, a tier one graduate entrepreneur, and tier one investor. Tier one entrepreneur is the route uh, for migrants who wants to establish, join, or take over one or more businesses in the UK. Tier Tier one exceptional talent is a rare category uh, where you can apply uh, if you've been endorsed in the one of these fields, science, humanities, engineering, medicine, digital technology or art as a recognized leader or as an emerging uh, leader. And I will explain what these are in a separate video, which will be de dedicated to this particular subcategory of tier one. And then we have a, a tier one graduate entrepreneur is uh, for graduate students um, who have been officially endorsed as having a genuine and credible uh, idea. And uh, the final subcategory of tier one category is tier one investor, where you have more than two million pounds to invest in uh, to the UK economy. Uh, for some reason, many uh, people find the UK work visas uh, topic very, very complex. It is not, I promise you, as long as you stay uh, until the end of this video, you will have a complete uh, uh, idea and understanding of how it works. And also, if you continue watching my videos, I'll explain each category in more detail. So today, uh, uh, it's uh, moving on to the tier two category. It consists of uh, four subcategories. Tier two is a general route and it helps those uh, who have some skills to uh, work, uh, to enter the 
work in the UK. These have to be, uh, you know, all the routes which I'm discussing here, they, they are only established for the visa national countries. And in this particular route, tier two route, is when you can prove that no one from the UK or from any other EA country uh, could fulfill this uh, particular uh, job. Then a uh, tier two intra-company transfer is for those employees who would like to establish their businesses here in the UK and this normally happens where the employers send someone over here and they this is a temporary route and this is only to uh, intended for the employees to establish their businesses and go back to their country of origin tier 2 minister of religion is uh, for someone when you were offered a job within a faith community in the uk this is pretty straight uh, forward and self explanatory tier 2 sports uh, person is uh, very similar to the tier one exceptional talent in a way that you have to be recognized uh, in this case in this particular type of uh, subcategory of tier two you have to be uh, recognized by your sports governing body as being at the highest level of uh, your uh, profession and you uh, you have to be uh, uh recognized by the governing uh, or endorsed by the governing body and you have to uh, proof uh, that your employment will develop uh, your sports in the UK at the highest uh, level. A tier 5 route was introduced uh, for temporary workers, those who would like to enter the UK on a very temporary basis and uh, work here. And it consists of six uh, subcategories. Tier 5 uh, temporary worker charity uh, uh, worker is a pretty straightforward uh, and uh, category where um, you uh, can get this type of visa when you would like to um, work on a voluntary basis for a charity. A tier 5 uh, temporary worker creative or sporting is a visa which will help you uh, enter the UK as a sports person or a creative worker. And you may ask me uh, what is the difference between tier 5 temporary worker and uh, tier 2 sports person. The only difference is that you uh, enter the UK as a tier 5 on a very temporary basis uh, whereas uh, if you enter uh, uh, as a tier 2 then you can uh, remain here for a significantly longer period of time. And then we have a, a tier 5 a government authorized exchange where uh, you um, you can apply for this type of visa when <clears throat> you can uh, prove uh, that uh, you, first of all you would like to come here uh, and gain a sh short-term work experience or do some training um, or uh, if you are a part of the overseas uh, government language program or you're doing some research or you have some uh, fellowship and you have to also prove that it has been approved a uh, government authorized exchange scheme and you also have to have a sponsor when you're applying in this uh, temporary category uh, a temporary worker uh, international agreement is a very rare category it, it, you'll be um, where you can prove uh, that you uh, will be doing some work which is covered by international law for example while you will be working for a, a foreign government or as a private servant uh, in a diplomatic household. And there is a very similar category to this one uh, in the other category, which I'll be uh, uh, d discussing towards the end of this video. And also we have a uh, tier five religious worker, uh, again, if you want to uh, enter the UK to do some religious work, such as preaching or uh, working in the religious order, you can apply for this one. This is very similar to tier two minister of religion. The only difference again is uh, because the uh, you know it, you can you enter the uh, uh, the UK under the tier five only if you want to work on a temporary basis. Whereas if you enter as a tier two minister of religion, then you can stay here for a significant significantly longer period of time a tier 5 youth mobility scheme is a very popular scheme where you can uh, enter and apply for this type of uh, visa a youth mobility scheme if you are aged between 18 and 30 and you are from one of these countries it's australia canada japan uh, monaco new zealand hong kong republic of korea and taiwan or you're a, a british overseas citizen or a british overseas territory citizen or british national uh, from overseas 
And the last category, which I've, I've called other category, it doesn't belong to any uh, points-based system categories. And it's uh, there are four subcategories. Two of them are, are for Turkish nationals. One is for those who have grandparents who were born in the UK, and one uh, is for domestic workers in the private household. The first one, Turkish uh, Turkish uh, business person, is for someone who wants to start a new business in the UK, and or uh, they would like to enter the UK in order to help uh, someone uh, to run an established business. A Turkish worker is for someone who uh, can prove that they they already lived in the UK for at least one year, either as a spouse of a British citizen or someone who was settled in the UK, uh, or uh, they had a uh, lawful right to remain in the UK as a worker, or they were here as a student and they had this right to work in the UK for at least uh, 20 hours a week. A UK ancestry visa is for someone who is uh, from one of the Commonwealth countries and uh, who is applying from outside the UK, so you cannot switch while in the UK. You have to uh, leave the country in order to make an application uh, if you would like to uh, enter the UK under the UK ancestry route. And also you have to prove that one of your grandparents was born in the UK and that it is your intention to come and live and work in the UK. And the last category uh, is, uh, the last uh, subcategory I should say, is for domestic workers in the private hold, uh, cleaners, uh, chauffeurs, cooks, uh, those who provide personal care. And you have to, the, the only thing you have to prove that you have, you were with the same employer, the one who is applying on your behalf for at least one year. I was recently rereading Warren Buffett's biography and absolutely love his quote where he said that the best investment you will ever make is in yourself. And if you uh, just watch the, this video, it means that you are already investing in yourself. And I do invite you to take a step further and to subscribe to one of my webinars, which I've created to help you avoid various mistakes when making your UK visa applications. All webinars are absolutely free. So the only thing you need to do is to subscribe and attend the webinar. You'll find the link uh, to the next webinar below this video. I do value your time and can guarantee that during this webinar, webinars, you will only be getting high quality, straight to the point information, which was tested many times before. It works and it is incredibly effective and it will help you succeed in your UK visa application. I'll see you all at the webinar, my friends.